In this video, I'm just gonna do a brief overview of the latest Royal Academy of Engineering resource guide. This one is called Engineering in a Pandemic. Now there are two downloadable PDFs. One of them is a teacher guide that has information about uh, what's in the pack, about the different challenges, and also how this links to the curriculum across different STEM subjects, as well as engineering habits of mind um, and something about the STEM badges, which have been used in a number of other resources. There's also a student guide. Now, if we look at this, um, it talks about the pack. Now, these packs of equipment can be sent out to individual students or to a whole school. Uh, so maybe if students are working from home, they can still have a go at some of the activities. Now, you can still have a go at most of the activities, even if you don't have this equipment. But uh, this is what we've got. We've got, uh, we've got some fan blades, we've got a battery pack and some crocodile clips along with a motor. So that's one of the challenges. Um, there are some strips of chromatography paper and a small holder um, and there's also a couple of these things. They First, first of all I thought they were sort of a nail file but actually um, it's some mouldable plastic. So we'll cover those as we look through the guide. So there are 11 challenges in total and actually when I read this guide myself I learned stuff about coronavirus which I didn't know about because I'm not a biology specialist. So. Um, I think as a teacher, you probably learn something as well. So we've got engineering habits, we've got the badges, um, and then there's quite a nice uh, quiz that students can have a go at online about uh, looking at what sort of engineering uh, they could perhaps become involved with. Um, there's information about the pandemic and actually a lot of material that's covered in science lessons. So about the difference between a virus and a bacteria. Within the guide, there are also links to videos this one over here, um, I actually learnt a lot from it. So there's links to videos that students can look through to actually do some independent study. This one here is about what is a coronavirus from TED. So um, great things that students can actually work through at their own pace. Now throughout the guide, there are links between what real engineers are doing and some of the real world problems that they're solving. So this includes things like ventilators, face masks, and all the challenges that engineers have risen to over the last year. There's a task where students can make, so make some bio art, so this includes making a model of the virus, and that's where these uh, plastic strips can be used. So all you need to do is to put them into hot water, they then soften, and then once they cool down, they take that new shape. So we've got some thermoplastics, and that's quite a nice thing that these uh, can be used for. So students can actually think about maybe making the RNA inside the viruses and so on. Uh, some of the other ones maybe need to be done in school. There's a really good one here looking at the transmission of uh, something like coronavirus. So this is um, looking at how things spread throughout a population. So um, I think this one here kind of has to be done in school. But there are other ideas where they can actually just work uh, through the guide itself and they can look at how the R number um, means that people can rapidly become infected throughout a population. Later on there's a challenge that is looking at testing and how in some ways the lateral flow test is similar to chromatography but again in the guide there are full instructions for students and within the resource pack there's some of the chromatography paper that can be used for this. There's then something about vaccination and how if you have enough people vaccinated in the population it stops the transmission of a disease so I think that's quite a nice one. Again that one there can just be done without any extra equipment. The final challenges are to do a face mask design, including students designing their own, and also maybe testing materials that could be suitable for them. And that's where this kit is used. So students can use this fan to actually build their own test rig to then look at the airflow through different materials. If it's too much airflow, then it's not going to stop any of the virus uh, coming through that material. If there's no airflow, then you can't breathe. So that's again something that students can design and make at home themselves. And then finally, at the very end, there are some support sheets for some of the tasks. So that is Engineering in a Pandemic by the Royal Academy of Engineering. It's something that um, is really timely and it just showcases some of the engineers and all the work that's actually happening behind the scenes to come up with uh, some real world solutions for the problems that we're all facing at this time. I'll do a couple more videos very soon where I go through this in depth and actually show you how the equipment can be used by your students. Thanks.